was a place with all the zip of Nuka Cola. Welcome to Nuka World, America's favorite vacation destination. I'm Cappy. Oh, and I'm Bottle. And we're here to make sure you have F-U-N fun during your time at the park. The mechanical issues of the past have been resolved, so now it's up to you to stay safe by following these simple rules. What's up everybody and welcome to another edition of AGR's Pop Culture Reviews. And remember kids, make sure to follow all safety rules during the rest of this review. It's March 24th and what's happening across our nation and indeed what's happening across the world is absolutely extraordinary. Students are taking to the streets and having their voices heard. Clearly this is not just a moment in time, this is historic, this is a movement. And I have to say without a doubt I feel my manhood cheap today because these students are marching in the streets and I'm making videos of video games. My priorities are really screwed up, but I will say even though I can't be with them physically, I'm with them in spirit, I'm behind their movement, and I'm so proud of this next generation, and I'm eager to see this changing of the guard because it's long overdue. And speaking of a hopeful future, preferably one that's not irradiated by North Korea, you all know Fallout and you know the lore, today we're going to be reviewing the Think Geek exclusive modern icon statue of the Nuka-Cola girl from the Fallout series. Let's take a closer look. Now first I have to stipulate the following, I might be a little bit biased on this one because lord knows I love me some 1950s future advertisement Americana. It is awesome and it's one of the reasons that I really love the world of Fallout 4. Now the head sculpt on this piece is just freaking awesome guys, now it oozes a lot of style. It's not overly detailed and that's maybe one of the flaws about it, but it still does the job and it looks so freaking cool. I absolutely love how charming this is and again it just has a lot of style to it and that's what makes it fantastic. The hair in particular is really cool, there's some great shading there, and you gotta love that beautiful smile holding a Nuka-Cola. Now the style and art direction, particularly with the detail, fares a lot better in the midsection of this piece. Obviously it's meant to be very sexy. The great color scheme between the black and the white and the red looks amazing. I also love the flesh tones, the belly button is sexy, and especially that beautiful belt looks fantastic. Most importantly, I love that she's holding that helmet. It looks so freaking cool, guys. I have to geek out a little bit about this. Overall, it's really well done, and again, the color palette is truly something that you're gonna love once you see this piece up close. In addition to a great color palette, the lower section of this piece is also pretty remarkable in that they use different textures. Now, the upper section of this has this kind of felt finish, and here we have that great wet leather look in her boots, and the contrast is very striking, guys. It's a small statue compared to others, but it does have a commanding presence, particularly in the overall style. I really love that she has one leg slightly raised, it's very sexy, and it's great stance. Now overall, this piece has a 1950s pinup girl style, so it goes without saying that this piece demands for you to have a mirrored back. It looks absolutely extraordinary on the reverse side. Now one of the cool things about it is again they provide a lot of detail for something that usually doesn't get seen. I love the air oxygen tanks, they look amazing and obviously her derriere is perfect. I mean it kind of has to be, she's selling Nuka Colas. So guys if you can this definitely is a piece that you want to have a mirrored back for it. It's going to look absolutely extraordinary especially under the right lighting and again even though it's a smaller piece, it does have a commanding presence and you can use this as a centerpiece. By far the thing that is the coolest thing about this piece for me is definitely in the base. It's in the shape of a Nuka-Cola bottle cap, which as we know in Fallout they use as currency. It looks great guys, the color is awesome. The only thing that really bothers me is that it's made out of plastic and unfortunately when you tap it, it feels kind of hollow and cheap. But that's really the only problem. This thing would have been extraordinary if they would have made it out of some kind of metal. However, as we all know, it would have raised the price a little bit. Here's the cool thing though, they did paint it and do a dry brush in a way that it looks metal, so at least the illusion is there. Now, for me, this was pretty much an easy one. I love Fallout 4 and I can't wait to see what's next from Bethesda, so I absolutely had to own this because I do own the Pip-Boy, the Lunchbox, an actual bottle of a Nuka-Cola. Obviously, I really love this series, so I'm glad I was able to get this piece in studio. So guys, if you're a fanatic of the Fallout series and you want to start collecting some of these items, I think this is a great place to start because it only retails for, I think, about $49.99. I have to double check, but that's basically what it's going for, more or less. Now before I go, I just want to thank the folks over at ThinkGeek and GameStop for sending this wonderful piece over for review. Alright everybody, so that's my official review on the ThinkGeek exclusive Modern Icons Nuka-Cola Girl from the Fallout series. As always, I thank you for tuning in and I'll see you on the next AGR's Pop Culture Reviews. Wouldn't that be the choo -choo place in all the world where the river
universe made of quantum and the mountain tops are feasts with fun and games and rides for all the moms and pops and kids but it turns out there's a place with all the zip of nuka cola come on down to nuka world and see it for yourself